Hey, how's it going, everyone? This is Royello. And Sashimi. And we are here on April 22nd, 23rd, for some for the new Call of Teroth Master Rank update. And we're going to take a look at the armor that Call has brought us. So for this, we will be taking a look at all the stats and all the important stuff first. As far as the looks, we'll be getting into that after going over coloring and everything and more the aesthetic side after. We will let you know when we're about to switch into that. So if you don't want to hang out for that, then you can just stick around for the stats. All up to you. All right. So basically, as far as looks, they are it is quite nice for both male, alpha, and beta. Although I, I definitely like the alpha better. Yeah, the alpha better for sure. Me. So, looking at the stats, uh, these are rarity 12 pieces. Uh, base stats are going to be across the board 176 defense, uh, 4 to fire, negative 2 to water, or uh, 3 to thunder, negative 2 to ice, and negative 4, ouch, to dragon. Mm. Alright, so for the first one, for the head slot alpha, we have no slots at all. We do have one level of free meal and three levels of free element ammo up. Um, that's actually pretty interesting. For the beta, we have a whopping two level four uh, slots, as well as a level one slot. And we lose all of the free element ammo up, though, and just get the free meal. For the body, we're looking at two level three slots. We've got speed eating level three and free meal level one. For the body beta, we've got level 4 slot, a level 3 slot, and speed eating level 3. Level 2 slot and a level 3 slot on the gloves alpha with critical boost and critical boost level 1 and one, 3 levels of wide range. Yes. Two level 4 slots as well as just the critical boost on the gloves beta. For the waist we're looking at you got your 2 and 2 ones as well as peak performance, hey. 2 levels of it. And free element. You guys are probably thinking the free the free meal. All these free meals is uh, pretty ridiculous, but we'll get to that in one sec. Okay. For the beta waste, we're looking at uh, level four slot, level two slot, and peak performance level two. Level two slot and two level one slots, as well as critical boost level two and peak performance level one for the alpha boots. And the alpha or the beta boots we're looking at, we've got a level four slot, two level one slots with critical boost two. The whole set actually comes with Kulturoth Essence. So pretty much that is guts, as well as free meal secret. If you can, let's go ahead and get this equipped. You will see here with free meal. Uh, at level three, which activates with the secret of this armor, it activates seventy five percent of the time. That is pretty crazy. That means yeah, awesome. you have a 25% chance of using your items. That's kind of a game changer for folks who like to support others, use wide range a lot. Yep. Uh, Mushroom Mancer. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, that, it, it's, a really, it's a really cool looking set as far as your... Uh, and it has speed eating too. So you're going to be able to throw back all those items really fast. That's going to be great. I can't wait. Look at them colors. I mean, we've been watching them change with the rainbow. But... Oh, one sec. We do got to cover the oh, palico real quick, and then we will go back for the colors. Where is... Oh, here we go. If I'm not mistaken, that's pretty much what it looked like before, right? Um, I think it's a little bit different. I think it's a little less like fluffy, that. maybe. I don't know. I haven't seen it in so long. But there you have it. This set is going to have... The weapon on the Palico has a plus 30% or a plus 30 defense bonus. It's actually, oddly enough, a blunt weapon. And no element, weird. There's blades all over that thing. I don't know where they're getting the blunt. Oh, yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, for the actual gear itself, you have 120 defense per piece and the same resistance is well actually the dragon is quite a bit lower and the ice is higher isn't that interesting it's weird hmm. so the resistances are actually kind of inverse but there you have it well there you go for the skills guys so if you guys were just here looking at the stats then there you go you are permitted to go if you wish <laughs> we are now going let's talk about some colors and the looks here comes the aesthetic side so we're going to start off with the palico since we're already here 
I think that little charm on there might be new. Yeah, I, I think pull up the old I don't remember. I don't remember that part on the old one. I like the colors though. The old set was really great for colors too, though. Any of you who've watched our previous skills and aesthetics know that we throw this saturation way up there because we want to see exactly what's changing. That sheen, that fluff. For you, sun, you dark soul sun bros out there, here's your your incandescent cat. So I pulled up the high rank version on my screen and it looks actually identical. Oh, it is the same? Yes. Well, there you go. Damn. And all. Yeah, and I was kind of hoping to get a little bit of a, a difference. I kind of like the blue. But we're going to stick with red. The green is nice. Yeah, that metallic green is really cool. Mm -hmm. So how different does it look if we choose another helmet, though? It's still fluffy. Wow. So it really only takes the fluff away from, like, right around the mouth. Yeah. Which is ideal, because then you can get a good look with another helmet. Still get the fluffy neck look. <laughs> I like that one. Unlimited fluff. Mm. And everyone's favorite. We gotta check out the Wiggler helmet. No. Alright, so let's take a look at the male armor, and then we're gonna switch our HDMIs over and look at Sasha. Okay. Man, that looks so cool. I love the shoulders. Yeah, you look like this evil overlord. That is just a massive amount of hair. Man, that looks so awesome. Capcom layered win. Ooh, like that is striking. Yeah, that's awesome. It changes a lot. Like, that Ooh. is... That's very, very Man, those impressive. Boots. Ooh. Speaking of looks, let's go oh. ahead and scoop <laughs> ourselves right on over here so people can see these boots. God, this looks awesome. Holy crap. Where can I get some of those? Ooh. If you ever just wanted to be Super Saiyan, or as close to it as you could probably get. Man. So many anime yeah. fantasies. The gradient in the boots is actually really nice. The way yeah. the red slips into the gold. It looks really, really good with the black. The gradient in particular. But the epitome of Sunbro. Really, it looks awesome in every single color. Um. Well, eh, green's okay. I like green, but... Blue is great. Yes. I kind of wish we could go in and change secondary and change the details on the chest. The tattoo is really cool, but I wish we could change it. Change, change the color? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. Actually, yeah, it looks, looks nice. better in the darker metallic kind of colors, I think. Mm. Yeah, I agree. All right, looking at the male beta. Um, I like I like the sleeves. I like the back of it. Mm. It's a good yeah, detail. The are actually really nice, too. The horns actually look a bit... I don't know. They stand out a bit much, I think. Ooh, in different colors, though. It's, it's the second coming of the Astral set. Oh, I did like the... Is that like a lion or a dragon face on the front there with the horns? I think that's her face. Colts? See? Her face. <laughs> See her face? And I do really like the shoulders and the collar. I just don't like whatever's going on with the bottom there. Opportunity missed for some more awesome boots. Yeah, I mean, your boots really don't matter when you've got a skirt. Yeah, it's too bad. Not that there's anything wrong with a skirt, but... I just like boots. I would really like to see someone try to fight in that. Yeah, that would not be easy to move in. Looks tough, though. The gradient in the horns is nice, too. Ooh, I did not notice that. Looks awesome. Ooh. I wonder if it'll do the same on the female armor. Oh, it looks really good in green. Yeah, the dark metallic colors seem to really, really lend themselves well to these sets. So, seems our saturation days might be over when it comes to the new gear. Oh no. Alright, female side? Yep, time for some HDMI magic and get to the female side of things. And we're back. It looks lovely. This is with the black color. This looks kind of like a, an evening gown. Yeah, it does. 
Looks more like you go up with the uh, the red carpet at the the Oscars or something, rather than you know fighting monsters. The claws are great. I wish I could have her do something with her hands. She could see like the hands spread out because there are claws in there. Looks really cool. Yeah, that would be handy, Capcom. If you could let us do gestures while we're in, you know, pigments and such, that would be cool. Oh, yeah. Or changing gear. It just looks so elegant. Hmm. I wish the part with the roses would change color as well. Oh, well. Speaking of roses, I bet roses. this would go great with some of the new rose pendants from the the fall the full bloom festival. Oh, it would. Yeah, that's true. Well, I like that color. Normally, I hate that color, which is about everything, but it looks good with this. I really like the uh, the scout fly lantern for it. It's like that diamond shaped oh. pendant on her on her waist there. Yeah, I didn't even notice that. That looks awesome. Yeah, it looks really nice. Oh, I like the red. So cool. How about that saturation do? Oh, yeah, I won't say. It just doesn't look as good as it does normally. Alrighty. We will play with the saturation. I thought it was white, but it was really blue. Blue. I don't know. You were expecting pink, but it was me, Dio! <laughs> Have Dio yellow in there, I'm sure. I'm glad you caught what I was going for there. And there it is. And nice barbecue blood red. Mm. I do like this like super bright blue with it. Alright, let's look at the other one because it's better. Do it. No, no. How many horns do you have? Not enough. Never enough. If you have look more horns hair. than the dudes, it's like four horns. Look at that. That hair is so great. It looks like she you took the horns from the last armor and slapped them into this one as well. This one's so much better. She looks like someone out of Bleach. <laughs> she does. She looks like a specific character out of Bleach, but I can't remember her name. The one with the kind of half shirt. Hmm. And the skull. Yeah. Mm. See all oh, the cause. I see all the cosplay. <laughs> yes. Coming from it now. Ooh, I like that dark blue. Nice. God, that hair is amazing. The armors are so polarizing, and like the fact, otherwise, there's the other set has oh, oh. next to no leg at all, and this one is like so much leg. It's everywhere. Yeah, that's true. It's all about that hair, though, and those horns. That's amazing. I love it. I really like this color. Yeah, you could get, like, monsters <laughs> could get lost in that hair. Just right? be going along, and all of a sudden, a Jagras flops right out of your hair. Come home and find a bunch of crakes. Oh, if you go out in that, cool if you go out in that yellow, Jagras would probably flock to you, thinking you're a greatest Jagras. Right? Oh, that was nice. Man, the red is nice. Go clean. And how about that saturation? Yes. I like the black. The black looks quite nice. Yeah, I do really like the black. There's a that that big contrast between the black and the gold. The hair looks like it's glowing. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. It was bright. Why does it keep doing that? I'm sorry about my headset. We'll fix it. I do like that blue. That sky blue is quite nice. Yes. Well, alrighty, guys. We will stop wasting your time by looking at all these colors. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope uh, this armor is something that interests you and brings you back if you've been out on hiatus or something. Uh, there were definitely good armors to look at. I'm not a fan at all of the way they're doing the weapons, how you have to go farm. Uh, hunter rank, or yeah, the the HR cult, and then bring them back for the master oh, rank yeah. one parts. I'm I'm not feeling that, so that I don't I don't know if I'm gonna be 
hunting down the weapons, but the armor looks great. Yes. At least we have the armor, which is going to be next to near infinite items, uh, fast usage, great support set. I, I did not think Helve was going to be a support set. That's that's pretty shocking to me. Shocking. But already, guys, if you're new to the channel, like, sub, all that stuff is up to you. What we do ask for around here, though, is if it's within your means, consider adopting or rescuing an animal. ASPCA.org, PetFinder.com. You can also Google your local animal rescue and adoption options near you. If you can't bring one home due to allergies, living conditions, what have you, there's other ways you can help out those animals in need. You can also go volunteer and still spend time with the guys. Or you can donate money or blankets, clothes, sheets, office supplies. They can use all kinds of stuff. Google your local shelter to see what they need. You probably got something they could use. Yep, so if you got love to show, love to share, then there's plenty of ways to show it, plenty of ways to share it. And unfortunately, there's plenty of animals out there who could use that love. So show them what you got, guys. Speaking of love, we love you. And remember, buy your fun, not your fam. Adopt, don't shop. We'll see you on the next one. Happy hunting. Bye-bye.